Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Sneha Banerjee. So the book for today is If There's No Tomorrow by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So this is what the book looks like. It's quite pretty. I like how this looks. So the publication is HarperCollins. So this book is another YA novel and I think that I have been reading a lot of YA novels in the past few weeks. I guess it's just autumn that has brought me to this genre of YA novels and I pretty much love reading uh, young adult novels because they are relatable, they are funny, they are humorous and they are just they're just really f refreshing. So the protagonist of the book is Lena Weiss. She is at the start of her senior year in high school. And so she is looking forward to tomorrow. That is, she is looking forward to a great future and that how everything will fall into place, career-wise, friends-wise and everything. Also, she has been shown as a girl who is a really happy girl, a cheerful girl who has her bunch of friends, not an introvert like usually we get to see in YA novels. Usually the protagonist in YA novels are always these introverted guys who just cannot get along with people. But in this book, Lena Weiss has been shown as someone who is pretty much extroverted. She has a lot of friends and she is very happy in her school. She loves going to her school and she is also a volleyball player, although not that great of a volleyball player. But that is what she thinks about herself. Her coach thinks that she does really well and if she plays and uh, works hard in uh, the sport, then she will be able to gain a scholarship as well. Now, Lena has this childhood best friend. His name is Sebastian and she is really fond of him and he is also just as fond of her. There's one problem in her life and that problem is that she falls in love with Sebastian and she just doesn't know what to do about it. Although she has never been very vocal in front of her friends regarding Sebastian, but her friends already know that obviously it's, it's only obvious for her to be falling in love with Sebastian because Sebastian has been portrayed as a guy who is extremely famous, extremely handsome and you know, just a perfect guy. Also, he is like, a really nice guy so not really a douchebag who is beautiful but a really beautiful person inside and outside so it was obviously normal for um, Lena to fall in love with him now but obviously she, she doesn't want to confess it in front of him because she is very scared she doesn't want to ruin her friendship with him but she cannot even contain her feelings so yeah all those teenage problems uh, so that's the character of lena it's a very normal character like there is nothing very new about her character it's just every teenage girl who who is looking forward to her future who is looking forward to uh, get an admission in a good college in the future and who has her friends who has this guy she really likes and all those basic things are there now something really uh, bad happens it might be a spoiler or not i'm not really sure but an accident happens where she loses three of her really close friends and that leaves her really devastated it's like in the accident all of these guys died but she was the only one who survived and apparently later they realized that all the other people were drunk but she was the only one who wasn't drunk she could have saved all of them if she she decided to drive the car that night but she didn't she is blaming herself for the death of her friends and she thinks that she uh, that she is a terrible person now she doesn't really want to talk to her friends the ones who are alive and sebastian as well uh, so she tries to avoid them as much as possible now that creates a tension between all the friends because obviously she has lost her friends in the accident and has gone through through the trauma of an accident but her friends who are still alive are also going through this kind of a trauma where they have also lost their friends and she doesn't want to hang around with them and talk about the accident although it's really important for her to do that but she uh, refrains from doing that even with sebastian although although she really likes him and uh, he also is very fond of her she just doesn't want to talk about the accident because if she thinks that if he, she tells him that she was not drunk and she could have saved or could have changed what happened then uh, Sebastian would hate her because she hates her, herself or what she did. So that's the basic plot of the story. Now I'll tell you what I think about it. Now it's really difficult for me to decide if I like this book or if I don't like this book because I don't know. I really need to decide. One eternity later. It's a 376 pages long novel. 
and what do you get in the end nothing special i just ended up reading 376 pages of a book and there's nothing extraordinary in it that actually touched me also the title of the book if there is no tomorrow i mean it's it's very obvious it's very self explanatory because we all know that what does this mean but in the book throughout the book i felt that this title was just not a fit for what was going on i mean it just felt really forced I, even after the accident she was treating her friends like crap and it felt bad because they have also been through trauma so if she really realized that there is no tomorrow then she should have actually valued them more why was she ignoring them and why was she not loving her loved ones even more it just felt really shallow it just felt really weird and i just didn't like it i just felt this was all so forced and why would she do that the story is nothing new like there is absolutely nothing new in this book i i understand that there are some books that are you know character driven like the characters are important and some books are plot based where the plot is important it doesn't matter there has to be something to offer that's the thing okay but in this book there is absolutely nothing like both the things are absent the characters do not have the strength to pull out a good story out of this book. I just don't think that the characters had anything in, the, in them. Like There was no substance in the characters. Lena seemed to be this person who just... I don't know, I just didn't like her. So it's weird when you don't even like the protagonist of the book. How are you going to like the book? Maybe this is just me. This is my opinion, obviously. But I didn't like Lena at all, like her decisions, the way she behaved with her family, the, the way she behaved with everyone. I didn't like her, I didn't like any of her decisions. And it's okay, there are characters, there are protagonists where they are shown as people who are flawed, who take bad decisions. Okay, but I just didn't like her character at all, somehow. And Sebastian, coming back to Sebastian, the hero of the book. He was a really genuine and a generous person, a kind person. I understand that his character was simple. There was, there was nothing difficult about him. He, the way he dealt with Lena through her, uh, through her issues, through her trauma, I think it was really beautiful. I think he was a true friend to her. But I think Lena was being a little bitchy to everyone. So I just think I didn't like the protagonist, and maybe that's why I don't like the book that much. But it's just the book. I really think it's just the book. There are some things that I think I like about the book. I think the way Jennifer has written the book, I think she, her narration and her storytelling is something really great. I mean, I could visualize everything. It was like I could I could see everything. So it, it was very visual. The way the way she narrates, I think it was it was amazing. So I think this book will be a good read for a beginner who has not read many books because it's simple and it's very visual and the story is also very simple. So it will be good for a person who is just starting to read. I think that I like about this book. And the second thing will be, it's a quick read, although 376 pages long, but the book was not boring because a lot of things were happening. So you were hooked to know what happens and the way she has written it, it sounds a little, I mean, you know, like there was suspense, although there was no result to those suspenses. These two things are the only things that I like about this book, except the cover. The cover is really pretty. That's what I think about it. So yeah, that's the book. That's all. I really don't like it when I say bad things for a book because, you know, books are precious. So I don't want to speak ill of a book. but this book didn't give me anything like I just wasted my money I could have saved it so yeah that was my weird 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 review for this book and if you liked it and if you want to see more videos from me then do click on the subscribe button do not forget to do that and also click on the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video and so yeah I'll see you next time goodbye